Okay, Nick Wright. Nick Wright, this fucking worm on Fox Sports. Worm. His first things first, or whatever show he's on now, I don't even know anymore. I used to watch his stuff. He's insufferable, LeBron James. I swear to God, LeBron James doll must be on his night table because the abnormal admiration and love that he has for this man, it's borderline sociopath it's kind of sick there's a recent thing right now that's going on about how the 90s are done or some shit like that uh, huh what yeah, 90s are done. yeah the 90s because some fucking worm shit fucking tiktok dork who wasn't alive who wasn't alive 25 years ago is sitting here judging an entire generation of basketball off of a 12 minute stretch in an nba finals game because guys were fumbling the ball and missing some shots. Does this fucking idiot watch basketball today? I watched an all-star game where all-stars missed wide open threes at a 70% clip yeah, when nobody was guarding them. You don't need to talk right now. You don't need to talk right now. Let me go. Because you're one of these fucking people that push this narrative on this new age of pathetic basketball over and over again. So this guy says this. Nick Wright then makes some ridiculous commentary about the 90s as well and then talks about the, the, peak, the peak LeBron year and the peak Jordan year and whatever. The, man, Jordan's got four years that are better than LeBron's best year. If you want to keep it a buck. If you really want to look at it. But Nick Wright has his admiration and he has his LeBron James card and, you know, and God forbid he ever has a problem. LeBron James will hire him as part of his PR staff um, because there's no better PR guy for LeBron than Nick Wright. But this commentary about the 90s basketball, it gets real tiresome, you know, because there are a lot of things that were said in this video that also, like, include the fact that Le Le Magic Johnson couldn't dribble. Like, Magic Johnson couldn't dribble? Oh, he dribbled with his hand on top of the ball. Guess what, you dumb fuck from t born in 2000? You had to dribble with your hand over the ball in 1985. You couldn't do this. This, this, that's a carry. That is illegal. You could not carry the ball. You can watch clip after clip after clip of traveling called constantly in the 80s. Always called. Now a guy can take six steps and not get called for traveling. The, the new fake gather dribble. The gather dribble didn't exist when you played basketball like in 2006. You know that. You know it didn't exist. It did not exist. This whole sh it didn't exist when you were in college. This new world that created rules that empower the offense and give the offense all the advantage. Let's also remember they shortened the shot clock from 24 to 14 on misses and, um, you know, on misses and dead balls on rebounds. It used to be 24 to 24, 24 to 14. They wanted to have a higher pace game. So the, all these things were done by the NBA to speed up the game, even though in the 80s, guys, teams were scoring 115 points a game without shooting 45 threes a game. The whole mentality of, oh, now, Jordan missed an open shot. Okay, so LeBron doesn't miss open shots? I've seen him miss open layups. I saw Jimmy Butler miss an uncontested open layup. Last week alone. Have you wanted to punch my TV screen? These are professionals. They miss. It happens. But sitting here saying, oh, they're fumbling the ball. They can't dribble. Today's basketball players are allowed to literally carry the ball for five yards without getting called for traveling. Today's basketball player gets away with double dribble all the time. Today's basketball player gets breathed on. It's a foul. Today's basketball player doesn't compete on a level of which they actually truly seem to ever want to win because they quit a whole lot in today's basketball. Watching leads disappear because you're too stupid in how you play is exhausting. And motherfuckers like Nick Wright Prepare, Ash, you can sh tilt your head, shake your head all you want, Nick, because the fact of the matter is, is the skill somewhat better? Yes, it is. They can shoot the ball better. Yeah, they can. Can they guard better? No, they can't. If they had to deal with a, if they had to deal with a real post presence, could anyone guard anyone? No, they couldn't. They'd be annihilated. 
Kareem Abdul-Jabbar would be making sky hooks today, just like he made them fucking 35 years ago. And to say he wouldn't is bullshit. You know that. Be making the same sky hook that no one could guard back then. It's the most unguardable shot in NBA history. So these '90s guys, you want to know who played in the '90s? Nick, you know who played in the '90s? Your number five player of all time played in the '90s. He sucks. You're right, Shaq. Mm -hmm. are, you know who else? You know who else played in the '90s? Your number three, three player of all time. Kobe, you're right. He sucks. You know who else played in the 90s? MJ, your number two player of all time. Oh, yeah, he sucks. So three of your top five players of the all time for you, Nick, played in the 90s. But the 90s is trash. Man, y'all can suck a dick. Tim Duncan started his career in the 90s. Akeem Olajuwon, 90s. Pippen, 90s. David Robinson, 90s. Charles Barkley, Patrick Ewing. Anthony Hardaway, Vince Carter, Tracy McGrady, Grant Hill, Alonzo Mourning. Oh, did you like Allen Iverson? I think you did. Who was that motherfucker, man? Ain't no we're not counting those people. No, no. This, these idiot motherfucking clown monkey fuck little twats on TikTok start this bullshit up and dumb fucks like Nick Wright carried on to national media because he has his, he has LeBron James scrolling so far down his throat Ooh. that it's in his fucking stomach. It's embarrassing. The way they did I'm not disrespecting this generation because these guys are good. I wish they played with some level of fucking true competitive spirit because they all want to be best friends. Jersey swap like little bitches after games. It's pathetic. They they lose a game and they want to hug each other. Back in the day, you didn't hug nobody when you lost, Nick. They went to what? fucking dinner together. They went to fucking what? dinner together. They went to dinner together. Dude, they didn't do like they did today, man. They didn't, these guys are hanging out before they even play, man. Today's generation is full of... They went Nick, and you wasn't even born. You guys are just born. The first time they jumped in 1997, dude. Fucking stories about them golfing together. Fucking... Bro, Magic Charles Barkley was best friends with fucking... Charles Barkley and Michael Jordan were best friends. And you know what? On the court, Jordan fucking hated him. There wasn't yeah. no friendship. There wasn't no, no, friend, there no jersey swaps. This fucking shit of today's generation, you know what? You created the softest generation of pussies on the face of the earth, and people like Nick Wright, what is, it, what is Nick Wright? You know what the thing about this is? And here's the comedy of this. There's going to be someone in 20 years who's going to be saying the same shit about the next guy and saying, LeBron James was garbage. Of course. And you fucking know it. And you know how, how stupid that will sound? No, the Jordan shit. Let me ask you. Jordan, keep it a buck. Jordan they don't go, like what? Jordan can't go left as stupid as fuck. That was, yes, and that was said in that stupid fucking video. Yeah, that, that was that, said. Yeah. So let's stop. Let's stop making shit up. That's not true. Magic Johnson has better handles than most of these dudes right now. But he can dribble the ball, carrying it like this all the fucking time. Are I'm you just, kidding? I'm just thinking because I mean Jordan. Isaiah I'm, Thomas didn't play today. Right? Magic, oh, Nick? magic Jordan. I mean, magic, magic dribbling was basic. That's the only reason I think they the think. passes that players made in the eighties and nineties. I never see made today. You want to know why? Because the game is one on one. The game, whole game is one on one. I'm sorry. It's drive and kick, drive and kick, drive and kick. It's all one on one basketball. The whole game. There's no teamwork. That's why the San Antonio Spurs busted our ass in 2014 and should have beat us in 13. Because, they because could, team ball will always be individual ball. Because they could shoot the ball and they were, they, were they played like a team, Nick. It wasn't driving kick. No, it was a team fucking game. They they did drive and kick our ass to death. They moved the ball and drove. The Nick, we didn't shoot 43s a game in 2013. So stop the fucking narrative. How much it was not the same game. You watch the game. LeBron James, most of the shots were fucking from 20 feet. They were from 26 feet. So the San Antonio Spurs they average about 14 threes a game that this series made. made. Play team, and you know what? They shoot 45 today. So you just proved my point. You just proved my point. So the game wasn't a driving kick game. You still have post players who got their ass on the block like Tim Duncan and murdered our ass on the block as an old man. Did Tim Duncan murder us or did they hit threes? Like Daddy Mills hitting threes. Was they hit threes. Nick, they, you just said they shot 14 threes a game. Make up your mind. You no, can't. You, I said made. Bro, they did not shoot fucking 45 like they do today. Every The game is different today, and you know it. It's been up and close, yes. Yeah, oh the more people were shooting it than, than they could before. You don't have to be out. Again, you're, 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 
again, in 20 years, there will be some other fucking twat kid who says that LeBron James was trash. And you know how absolutely preposterous that will sound? Because I'm going to tell you right now, I watched today's basketball. There's not a guy in the league right now that will be better than LeBron James in his career. Not even close. There won't be a guy right now in 20 years, if God for God willing, I'm still breathing but at 66. You, huh? You're, top, you're picking the top players. I'm talking. telling you right now, Nick, in 20 years, there will not be a current player outside of maybe Victor Wembayomama who will be a top 15 player of all time. So these guys are not on that level. They're good. They're not on that level. Luca will be in top 15. Though. No, the fuck he won't. It's no, me. the fuck he won't. He's not going to be losing. He's never going to win. He's a lazy sack of shit defensively. He's slow as dog shit. He's not a fucking team guy. He shoots the ball way too goddamn much. You're the fucking point guard. You know who that sound like? Like the Who? Dude. Really? He wasn't a point guard, dude. Not the deal. Okay. I'm, talking about right. being a I'm sorry, Michael Jordan, the first team on NBA defensive player for half his career. I mean, yeah, you're right. He's not my, yeah, he sounds like Michael Jordan, the guy who defended 94 feet against Luka, the guy who couldn't guard me. He could definitely if I had any speed. No, he definitely would guard. Luka can't guard a parked car. Let's stop the bullshit. There's not a guy right now that you will say, that you could unequivocally say will be a top 15 guy of all time in 20 years. But there's be some fucking dickwad kid who says, oh, I watched YouTube videos because today's games are being scored in the 200s. Luka needs one championship to be in the top 15. He doesn't. He needs one more than that. One are you serious? Well, his all right, all right, Nick. He, one championship. We can, go, we, we, can, we can debate that another day because the top 15 players, every one of them has more than one championship. Every one of them. Every one of them has more than one ring. There's somebody. Every there. single one. Let me let me think about that. Really, Akeem, Shaq, Duncan, Dave Dave Ross is not the top fifteen, but he has he has two. Uh, Kobe, LeBron, Bird, Magic, Kareem, Wilt, Russell. That means that thirteen players right there. Kevin Durant. There's not a f- guy in the top fifteen. Steph. There's not one guy in the top fifteen with less than two rings. The Russ is not the top fifteen. Please. The fuck. Okay. Yeah. Let, let the pussies of today's generation live the life that Bill Russell had to live while playing. Not respect. Let the fu- let the pussies of today you won't respect it because what you just said is fucking blasphemous as hell. It's complete blasphemy because again you're watching a style of play that if you play today he'd still be blocking all their fucking shots. He'd still be rebounding the fuck out of the ball, and that man played when the man had to sit in a different fucking room to eat. I get that. I get the fuck out of here, bro. Stop it, man. This is telling about me on Instagram. He's not a top 15 player. All right, bro. Bill With 11 rings. The captain of an 11 ring fucking team. Yeah, shut the fuck up, bro. That's and stupid. I, and I get that. That's stupid. That's stupid. That's just stupid. You know what? I'll find you another 15th player. Listen, listen, I'll guys, find listen. you another one. No, no you might. If we be, don't, if we don't wrap this up, we're gonna, I'm done. I was going to be honest. He's saying stupid shit now. He's saying stupid shit and you know it. Bill Russell did not go through more shit than any of these fucking pussies do today. Instagram's worse than fucking being forced to eat in the fucking back of a building because you're not allowed in the building. Okay, fuck so out of here. Because I grew up poor and I can't do shit, that should, make, that should put me in the top player in, the, in history. Or you were poor? I'm just saying. He was a fucking multiple time MVP. What are you talking about? I'm just saying. All right, man. All right, man. In a certain situation. Yeah, I know. Like, Will was trash, too. Will wouldn't be top 15 in there. Yeah, you're right. Kareem ain't top 15. None of the centers are top 15. Rudy so I'm going to let you. Only check. Only check. You've been talking through half my rant. I, no, I just I said a couple things because it was, it was a mantra. Yeah. I just All gave right. you 15 guys that are better than that. that Luka Doncic will never be top 15 with one ring. He won't win a ring. I bet you right now, he never wins a ring. Yes. Listen, listen. That's the crowd. That's the crowd. That was that was that was impactful. <laughs> that was entertaining. Fuck you, Nick Wright, you pussy ass bitch. Oh wow. These motherfuckers sweat at the basketball like they Nick Wright sweating. No, I'm talking about motherfuckers who think that the defense is not being played. It's just harder to Man, play. You, you you you're full of shit, Nick. You don't even watch basketball. Right, Fuck out of here. Fuck out of here. Instead of motherfucking being one step away, help side. 
or or two mm-hmm. steps away helps out. These motherfuckers is right there. They they are on their man. They're not helping as much. So when you're not helping as much, you have to guard a motherfucker for mm-hmm. pointing at you by yourself. Mm-hmm. With less help. Mm-hmm. With people who could dribble the ball a little bit better than they could back then. What the fuck you thinking that happened? They're gonna be blown mm-hmm. eyes all the fucking time. Mm-hmm. They're gonna mm-hmm. drive the kick. They're gonna, mm-hmm. They're gonna kick it. They're gonna shoot it. If you don't help, you're gonna get blown by the layup. Pick and roll is harder to guard because motherfucker can shoot the ball. To the pick and roll, it takes more than just those two people to guard a motherfucker. The other person got to come and help because it's not mm-hmm. on the switch. You yeah. Gotta, okay. Okay. Yeah, don't let the fact that you get four steps for every shot you take. I know traveling, running with the ball from mid court to the fucking rim, it doesn't make a difference. Mm-hmm. Allowing four or five steps. I watch games where guys get baskets and they take five fucking steps, and you're sitting here telling me that defense doesn't. Are you kidding? I can't. Run with the ball. It's football. And shoot, and not get a travel call today. I can't, yeah. I can't even say anything. Yeah, yet. because you don't even watch basketball clearly. Because let me show you, idiot. Dave Hunting's entire fucking career is a travel. His career is a travel. Because he looked at the rules and learned how to. to look at the rules. They changed the rule. So. In 2006, 7, 9, 10, they made that shit up for his ass. There wasn't no gather there, so they let the Fuck out again. There was no gather there. They let LeBron. They made it up. They, oh my God. Oh my God. You tell me the fucking is stealing it, but you know it's true. I can shot the thousands of video footage. Okay. A step back jumper 25 years ago was literally one step, not four. Because he doesn't have the ball completely yet. What are you doing? He has the ball. It's absurd. Rudy. I mean, even acknowledge it. Rudy, if I don't have All right, bro. I'm done. Dude, you're just being stupid now. Oh you, 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 you're being stupid now. You're, just, you're doing the trolling shit, no, and you're pissing me it's off. Hard to, it's hard to tell people who haven't played basketball in the last 30 years. Fuck, are you going to win? Did you get away with that in college? Did I go to Did you get away with that in college? Have it. A fair step, step back, jump shot. But the ball wasn't really in my hand that I can have it be in the air. And then, what? Yes, Rudy. Oh, fuck out of here, bro. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. And, and, and Terry's were called also. Like, they didn't call carrying in the 90s also. AI got called for carrying all the time. Imagine today. He did the run with the ball from mid court to a layup. AI did not get called for carrying. He got time. called. Oh, my God. They called it. Right. Okay, go ahead. A couple of times. Yeah, and it's. All right, okay, all right. Go ahead. I'm sorry. <laughs> I have to put you guys to your corners. I have to put you guys to your corners. Nick, you've been muted. Rudy, you've been muted. You guys have been muted. No one hears you. No one hears you. You've been muted. I had to make an executive decision. It's out of control. You guys are back. With that being said, we're going to go. The fighters are to their corners. We're going to go into another section of the show. And that's Don's. That's his mix rant. I'm going to talk about fucking basketball. And come on now, the podcast. Please be sure to subscribe, like, comment, and ring that bell so you get up-to-the-minute updates when we publish new content. You can also find us on Facebook and Instagram at Come On Now Podcast and X and TikTok at Come On Now Pod. Thank you again for supporting this channel.